Zeus. There's somebody he must meet. Now, am I pronouncing this right? Mr. Raz Al Ghul? You're not Raz Al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Raz Al Ghul immortal? Are his methods supernatural? Or cheap parlor tricks to conceal your true identity, Raz? Surely a man who spends his nights scrambling over the rooftops of Gotham wouldn't begrudge me dual identities. I saved your life. I warned you about compassion, Bruce. Your quarrel's with me. You let these people go. You're welcome to explain the situation to them. Everyone? Everyone? I, uh, well, thank you all for coming tonight and drinking all my booze. <laughs> no, really. The thing about being a Wayne is that you're never really short of a few freeloaders like yourselves to fill up your mansion with, so, uh, thank you. <laughs> Nothing? Really? Okay. I uh, only invited you people here because it's my birthday, and Alfred said I couldn't have hookers over again this year. I don't even know half of your names. Except for you. You're Rick, right? It's Steve. Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. That's right. I slept with your wife. Right over there, actually. Last year, on my birthday. Not because she was a hooker. Just very slutty. And flexible. Good for you. Seriously? Okay, fine. Every time I have a party, I make it a point to stick my dick inside every glass of champagne we serve. Which means most of you guys are going to need some penicillin. With the track record of women I've slept with, Rick knows what I'm talking about. Uh, it, it's Steve. God damn it. Look, I want you all to get out of my house. Because if you don't, I'm going to burn it down. Hey, I like a good bonfire. I've got marshmallows. Shut up, Steve. That's it. Fuck it. I, I am Batman. That's right. The guy over there with the cane is an environmental terrorist named Ra's al Ghul. He's going to try and kill me for blowing up his secret ninja school in Tibet and then send Gotham City into chaos with the help of a giant microwave and fear gas made from flowers. Uh, yeah, is it pronounced Raz or Raish? Depends on the director. You know what? I Fuck it. I, everyone, I voted for Trump. That's right. Go up with him every Sunday. The exit is that way in your left. Alright, Raz. Let's get down to it. Wait. You actually voted for Donald Trump? I, I, I mean, he made some good points during the debates. And you call me a terrorist. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They do it all from a secret underground bunker in case this election turns out bad for them. Well, mostly Valentine. I'm your announcer Julie. And according to a new Quinnipiac poll, 6 out of 10 Americans say that after listening to an episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast, they want to listen again. The other four Americans have a tendency to rip out their own eardrums. Roll the dice bitches. Here are your duly elected hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine and Justin Polizzi. Hi kids, this is a special election edition of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by two guys who have campaigned on behalf of the Green Party because I thought weed would be involved, Congressman Matthew Stewart and paid political strategist Justin Polizzi. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. But we finally on the, on the, on the, on the, on the Listen, man, don't, don't continue to talk. 
<laughs> incident. Hey, well, you go shut up, buddy. <laughs> the, the incident. Listen here, that... bucko. I'm going to teach you a thing or two about respect. Do what we're, we're... Well, let's talk about respect. What you, you saw on, on the Zoom knees. chat was not Matt's you're gonna penis. Crawl you turn your video off. Matt's penis turn your videos was off. not on the webcam. Everything about what I'm going to put The right news is fake. Right the news is fake. And it's as far so as I'm considered, people don't realize it. It was his thumb. Or Matt got up or from the conversation. Or what shit as you can see, or what fit you. he's mentally challenged. Anything you're ever gonna say and his thumb to me is quite large because my dick and it looked like his dick to party all night. <laughs> uh, we was that your, was that what, was that my two minutes? No, no, that was, that's fine. Uninterrupted. Yeah, that's right. Uh... <laughs> you know, for the what I've always liked about politics. Real, well, tell me the sex I, I, I like the song. That they uh, uh, like the da, 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 da. copyright. <laughs> I've always liked that song. You like that, that song? It gets you hype. It's kind of a, it's it, yeah. It's a little bit of a hype song. You know. You, know, yeah, you got to get the balloons coming yeah. down. And yeah, yeah, all the balloons coming yeah. down. Filled with then a gunshot gets oh, yeah, well, easy, easy, throughout easy, the air. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, brings out in the air, just like in the line <laughs> of fire. I don't like when they use uh, <laughs> it's always a movie, uh right? the Republican president here doesn't have anything to uh, worry about here. But I don't like when they use like music from bands and stuff. Oh, like well, John Fogarty said he's not allowing Trump. Wait, to, I'm sorry. Uh, did you that, mean? Uh, did you mean uh, abusing copyright? Yeah, <laughs> using songs. Well, he's using it under which the is Fair against Use the Act law? of 1976. Right. I know the Beach Boys did the same thing. I know Beastie Boys allowed it for Biden, which was crazy. Well, you know, they, well, they can allow it, but yeah, to abuse it, I'm sure the thing about uh, Biden is they probably asked. Right, right, right. But and they probably said yes. But remember, the BC Boys have instead of being like, I'm just going to play a song right. and you're going to deal with it. But remember, the, the, the BC Boys have never do do? licensed no? a song ever for a political campaign yeah. until this year. <laughs> this is the first time they had. They had. A, well, they had. They had morals. <laughs> they had. A, they weren't supporting a party. So now they're just supporting our our our. Uh, the our, right to uh, party was always there. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> they're supporting. Yeah. They're fighting it's for the right. Now they picked another party. That's political a, party. That's a Beastie Boys reference right there. Yeah. You like that? So, I like that. I was, here I am, just the white kid from New Jersey. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Yeah, what do you know, yeah, what do you know about being white and You're, like, you're like Bruce Springsteen over there. Hey. Yeah. Another guy who hates he's, Trump. He's, 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 <laughs> oh, fucking Jersey boy over here. Fucking Did Jersey you see the video boy. where Bruce Springsteen talking about Trump? It was fucking amazing. It was like. What do you say? It's like he's a fucking he, he, Literally, he was like dragging him i'm like whoa bruce we just asked you what you thought about well, the well, born in the usa uh, <laughs> he's like nah man fuck that well thanks bruce for your service for saying what everybody else jesus is he was saying. he went in he went all in i was like who do you think's gone in the most uh, bruce is on, up there on uh yeah i wonder well probably jeffrey wright here. jeffrey jeffrey wright's twitter handle yeah. is jeffrey vote out this something or other right he changed yeah. his name on his twitter just to do it Speaking of Jeffrey Wright, did they ever do a um, a roast of Donald Trump? Oh, no, you would never allow that. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Oh, no, they did. No, I'm just curious. Seth MacFarlane did. did. Seth MacFarlane did. Yeah, yeah. Long time. Oh, okay. I guess that's why that cocksucker's not saying anything now. These right, days. right. <laughs> they they sniped him. Because isn't that pretty much just what a roast is? A it's not your favorite person back on earth. Backhanded Seth celebration. Yeah, it's Matt's favorite. Oh, he's. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've said that for decades. Yeah, you've never, you've never liked that's, that. That's some decades. classic. Never some liked Seth podcast. Oh yeah, you've never liked it. We got to dig in the archives for when I really write when I do my own. Hey, why don't you like them? Let's talk about that. Let's, not let's about get, the, get on the couch, man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about why you don't like Seth MacFarlane. We want to have. We want to debate this. Oh, no, 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 no. We had debate. No, there's no debate. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, no, but this is like the political. Um, but we agree with this. Like our political. So it's not like. All right, okay, ask me like an actual well, who wants to be the moderator? I'll be the moderator. I'll be Chris, play. whatever. Hansen, let's let's whatever do some let's do some role playing. Okay, here we go. So you'll be Chris Hansen. Whatever, what's the name of that guy from fucking uh, the first debate? <laughs> Who's being speaking the last of, speaking of role playing, Chris Hansen? <laughs> When's the last time uh, you bought wine cooler for uh Seven World? <laughs> <laughs> well were you were you what were you, what were you planning on doing with this Costco <laughs> pack of condoms? <laughs> what are you doing with this imagine, mega outfit there? Uh <laughs> can you imagine like fucking with like a Kirkland condom? <laughs> 
Uh, well, do I could. Actually. I don't think they do. They, do. do they have? Condoms I don't there? think they do. The the Kirkland brand is quite. <laughs> Kids, quite I don't know if you've heard of the Kirkland brand, but that's kind of like the uh, Costco. Is that the Costco version of? Yeah, Costco. Yeah, Kirkland. It's, is, it's good Costco. quality. Good yeah. quality no, stuff. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> some of the food is. You get some. Would you put it on your dick? Do you have a Costco membership? Do you have a Costco membership? No, I I do. Yeah, it's 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 like the best fifty dollars you'll spend all year. You put you put a Costco product on your dick. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, I will. Oh, I, I, was I put Costco you. product inside me. <laughs> yeah. I have. Oh, I do. Different. Of course. Talking about food, I, mean, I hope. You... No. <laughs> but yeah, yeah kind of. That's how he gets his drugs across the board. Kind of. Meal. He's a drug meal. Some of it's you food. Know? Some of it's other stuff. <laughs> I think we should do a whole rebranding of Costco, where it's like these are the goods that you actually need, like the drug meal package, and it comes with like five condoms, lubricants. Like a tampon with the uh, uh, string. <laughs> I, so I'm very surprised how you know how this so much about uh, uh, drug muling. And for, and for some reason, like sriracha. I don't know why that <laughs> you makes keep sense. you on your toes. Something <laughs> you keep yeah, you awake. I mean, oh yeah, See, I feel really like that keep... just got racist. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, everybody just loves, everybody yeah. loves sriracha. <laughs> Who doesn't Do love they? sriracha? A little bit sriracha. Who doesn't love sriracha? I think you're a little too much. If you ask me, I think I think you're a damn communist. It's good, but it's a little too much. I think you are the Manchurian candidate. <laughs> you're Denzel Washington. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think you're Frank Sinatra. I think you're Frank. <laughs> I think you're Liv Shriver. <laughs> I think this motherfucker's Frank Sinatra he's, think, right here. He's a Jersey boy. That's a Jersey boy right over there. He, this, it all comes back around <laughs> being, uh, being a Jersey boy. I see what you did there. Yeah, that's it's genius. Always a genius. genius. This is how the whole conversation comes around. Well, you know, we're, we're this is gonna be a nice even show, seeing that we're, we've just come off our twelve hour romp. So we're gonna. This is like a oh, walk man, in still the tired. park. I'm still. I think by the way, yeah. you know, I had. I, 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 it was the first time I did a podcast, and afterwards I woke up. Mm -hmm. I was hoarse for a day. I was. <laughs> you were hoarse. Yeah, I was very hoarse. I was a. Oh. Uh, uh, you woke up with a horse. I woke up with a you war strapped, horse. Strapped the saddle on and rode into the sunset. I was talking I know like this. I was no talking like uh, what's his name, Firestein, for like a day. You fucked the horse. <laughs> oh, our, oh, our Somebody good friend. David, David, David. 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 I was talking like that for a little. David, <laughs> David. I watch well, film festival. David. Uh, David. That was quite the uh, twelve hours of our life oh, that yeah, we man. lost. That, yeah. Well, what was the thing you said during that? You said for every hour you sit in a chair, you take an hour off your life, right? Something, Something like that. to that effect. Yeah. I don't know if that's okay, actually well, accurate, well, but whatever. Let's see what time it is right now. It, <laughs> I mean, we literally lost like a day of our lives. Literally. We'll never so get back. Are what would you do with lives? that day? What would you do? Well, I, I there's many things. I could have <laughs> went to Costco and got some Kirkland brand stuff. <laughs> you went to Kirkland. It's got to go. You should have planned ahead, though. That was the problem. You, you knew this was, you know, come on. <laughs> Come on. The world should I mean, down. you can't really plan for that. <laughs> you can plan for it. I can't as much fit as Costco it. on my busy schedule. It's so hard. Is the gas really cheaper could... at Costco? What are they doing with the gas over there? Yeah, it's gas. Ga it's, it's gas cheaper. Show? Gas is cheaper. I feel everywhere. like if you go to a lot of different grocery stores now, grocery store gasoline is where you want to get your gas. <laughs> you can be getting good quality <laughs> at Costco. You go to like Justin, a, do you uh, work for Kroger. Costco? Is this a uh, revelation? This is a paid political This is a paid political, ad. paid political um, ad for, for Costco. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I get great deals. Costco, do good not, quality. We sponsored by Costco. Job when I walk in. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Wait, where does Costco look, hat come from? Where, <laughs> look, we're look, we're for fucking sale. <laughs> Just like any of our political appointees or people we, we vote for, we have that twelve hour festival. Everything's we're, got we're a price. Million dollar man once said. <laughs> Million dollar man was fucking right. Remember when he kicked the in search of your ad here. Kid? That. that was us. <laughs> Remember that when he when he ruined that kid's dreams and then he probably he wasn't able dream. to eat dinner or something like that with his mom and <laughs> Virgil just counted the money from like you fucking if if only you were Kevin Durant. <laughs> That was a young Shaquille O'Neal. He took that ball from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, in honor of the film Honest Thief and uh, my claim that uh, Liam Neeson has uh, been in the same movie for the last 12 years, I want to play an impromptu game that I'm going to call um, simply Liam. No, uh, take the fucking, take the fucking, <laughs> take the fucking, I'm going to call it take the fucking elephant. All right. Time for a game that Valentine has just made up. A game he's calling, Simply Liam? No. Take the fucking elephant? That's it. Take the fucking elephant. Take the fucking elephant. I'm going to give you guys uh, a list of movies that Liam Neeson has starred in 
in the last 12 years. And I'm going to read you wow. the synopsis and you're going to work together to see if you can oh. guess which one of these movies is which. <laughs> oh. I'm working, I'm at work and I see a poster for Honest Thief and I look, I look at the poster, it's the same movie Liam Neeson has played it and I realize it's him like him diving away holding a exactly gun. what it is this is exactly him diving away holding a fucking gun <laughs> yeah. I love I love I love how he was in run all night and then he was non-stop <laughs> yeah but it was okay. unknown so I'm, I'm gonna well, read no. you the synopsis you have to guess which one it is all right? some stones. of these are easy some of these are very difficult all right he's a commuter all right here you go <laughs> <laughs> the a private investigator Matthew Scudder is hired by a drug kingpin to find out who kidnapped and murdered his wife. Which movie is that? <laughs> Wait, I'm, okay, hold on. The drug kingpin hired him to find out who killed the drug pins? Private Daughter investigator and- Matthew Scudder is. is hired by a drug kingpin to find out who kidnapped and murdered the drug kingpin's wife. Okay, yeah. It seemed like the drug king, kingpin hired him to figure out who killed his <laughs> wife. And I'm hiring you to find your own wife's murder. That's a twist. That's it. That's. I'm gonna hire you to find out who, how to get a real job. I think. Hmm. You want this one, or you want me to? For a... uh, I mean, do you have do you have an idea? I, I don't think I've seen any. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen all of these movies. So I don't. Have you really? Yes, yeah, so I've seen literally all of these movies. I know. See, I know some of them. I know one's like a like like a goofball, like almost like a slapsticky comedy. I think. Oh, if you know. Oh, really? This, one of them is. One of them is. Well, to me, it it, it kind of seems. Like <laughs> I think Matt just made it a comedy in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like it. I think. Well, I think it was also right around the time he had the story about him holding the, the clomp. What is it? The clomp. One to kill Kosh. Kosh. <laughs> it was Clomp Kosh. <laughs> Daniel Tosh. Daniel Tosh. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> Peter Tosh. What's it called again? A, a, a Kosh? A Kosh. Yes, a pipe. God, that's such a, that's such a badass name for like a letter. A Kosh. <laughs> oh, he's got a Kosh! Fucking... <laughs> Look out! I'm going to teach you to speak English with this fucking Kosh. <laughs> um, okay, uh, that, okay you, you, you take this one. Okay. I think okay. You... Um, I don't know. Really, I see. I've seen. <laughs> I don't I know. It's. I don't know. <laughs> That's his I answer. Don't know. I haven't I seen. I, know this. I don't Cold know this. Pursuit, or Run All Night, uh-huh. or Nonstop, right. or The Commuter. <laughs> okay. You haven't seen those. No, okay. but I'm pretty sure The Commuter is not. I'm pretty sure. Cold it's, Pursuit it's, it's, was about him in a snow pool. Yeah, he, it's like yeah, he's like a plowman or something. <laughs> so the nonstop is in the aeroplane. Or is it? <laughs> Ooh, oh, what? Oh shit! There's so much nonstop in about a, these movies. I'm not oh, helping. God. you. I don't I'm even just know. Waiting what. for your answer. I thought that that nonstop. I want to say was... either. Oh, fuck. oh okay. Go, go I'm going to say bed. run all night or nonstop. I think Matt should pick one of them. That okay? Back on me now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> run all night was. Was that? Oh, wait, oh, I think. Well, isn't Run All Night the one where he has like the sun, and the sun does something bad? And he's like, "You can't do this, sun. I got the cock." And then, <laughs> it, and then this, he has to go. Accurate, he has to go uh... kill the guy who wants to kill his son or something like no. that. Well, wasn't Walk Along the Tombstone about his son dying or something? Uh, and then I had Chloe. I think I had Chloe Grace. I think I'm having an aneurysm like right now. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of oh my God. Right I had a whole bunch okay. of these, but apparently you guys are stuck on one. So right, private, gonna... <laughs> okay, private investigator. I'm going to go. Well, well, hey, I'm going to pull the rug out from under you. I'm going to go uh, that oh, unknown. I'm going to say run all night. Then. I'm going to say you're both yeah. fucking incorrect. <laughs> oh, no. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and we're moving on. I, because you I guys haven't seen any of these, these right movies. <laughs> I haven't seen a fucking. This is movie. difficult. <laughs> I know. That's the fucking thought... point. <laughs> okay, oh so you said God. movies from the past twelve years. Are what is that? It's, it's Walk yeah, Among the Tombstones. <laughs> uh, I thought that was about his dead son or no, something. No, no. Doesn't his son kill the wrong person no. or something? <laughs> no, that was another one. I think that was <laughs> incorrect. Maybe DJ will have that one for later. Do, do you know what we're talking about? DJ? I know what you're talking about. It's not that. <laughs> Is it in this list? It is. Yes. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know though. I don't walk along okay, with your Tombstones. Your but honor, I rest my case. I walk away from this. Can I get Sorry. the death penalty? Yes. Yeah. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? 
time for a segment that I coincidentally thought was dead and buried. It's Can You Dig It? Uh, can You Dig It? This is a segment where I posit some uh, <laughs> news stories in Hollywood, and Matthew and Justin will tell me if they... Uh, oh, this is great. Cool I'm sure Hollywood's got some great news. Ready? Right a, whole news news. A, whole news. Uh, a whole bunch of breaking news. A whole bunch of news. A bunch of news. This is as we're recording. This is happening. This is happening today as we're recording this. Ooh, this is live. Breaking. This is breaking. Jared Leto back as the Joker in the Snyder Cut. Can you dig it? <laughs> 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 I was trying not to laugh. I was trying to get it out without laughing. <laughs> Uh, this is the this is the world we're in right yep. now where this is yep. like the news. Yep. <laughs> He's back, folks. Wait, they're bringing them back. They're bringing them back for the Snyder Cut. New footage for Justice League. Yes, sir. Wow. So, you say new footage. So are they? This is footage that was no, 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 no. They're shooting. They're adding brand to the new footage. Why don't they? So just really, make- it's something. That- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. hold right here. So now we're at a point where it's not a cut anymore. It's a it's whole a different movie. movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember they said it existed and now they're just making a new movie? <laughs> Why did this oh, make it? I movie? see what they did there. Yeah. Okay. This feels, Good for eerily, them. this feels eerily similar to like, this feels very United irresponsible. States politics. <laughs> it's a bait and switch. It's like, hey, don't worry, we have it already. It's like, well, where is it? It's like, oh, we're, we're, we're making, making it, it. right now. <laughs> Wait, like, what? You just told me you had hey, it. You said you had it. <laughs> Like no, no, we have that. We don't have this though. Like, oh. Highly irresponsible. You know what's gonna be funny about this whole thing? They're gonna do all Nothing. this. That stuff. Is, no one's gonna do, watch. They're gonna it. do no, no. The people are gonna watch. They're gonna do all this stuff, all these things, new shots, new actors, and it's still gonna yeah. suck. <laughs> that's the thing. Send send us all the hate mail because we well, can yeah. say this movie's gonna suck dick. And that's not even fair to dicks. Yeah, Dick Sporting Good is really pissed at you right now. All right, yeah, uh, next Richard, one. Richard, Richard sucks. <laughs> that is not happy right now. Why would you bring out of anything? Uh, Why would you add that right, of to all make the it characters? Is the, bring back the one that's, character that everybody didn't like. It's like, hey, I'm built. I'm I'm baking this cake. I know I didn't do good last time baking this cake, so I'm going to follow the instructions this time. But instead, uh, of egg, I'm eat. just going to add gasoline. Ooh, get a, gasoline. A gasoline cake. <laughs> mm, nom, 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 nom. That isn't gasoline. Okay, here's the next one. Uh, despite a reportedly troubled production uh, <laughs> that Justin told us about, bomb producers want to bring back Carrie Fukunaga for the next movie. Can you dig it? Why not? I mean, I he, hasn't, he, hasn't, he hasn't proven that anything's bad yet. No, the yeah, trailers look good proven. for the, you know, the, they look good. You know, like everything I good. saw. Um, yeah, um, kind of a little scary to hear that. Um, Sam Mendes didn't uh, do well twice. Matt, uh, Matthew well, Martin Campbell did, but uh, not. It, but it also leads me to believe there might be some like thing that they might want to continue oh, with that. Oh, yeah. I don't know, mm-hmm. possible. But if that's not the case and they want to start fresh with a new Bond, hey, that's great. I think. Okay. He seems like an all right dude, right? I mean, everything he's salad. made, I've liked. So um, I like him. Mean, he's he's a we'll say director. We shall see. I, I, if this movie ever one comes day, out, if this movie ever comes out <laughs> next year, I guess. Now Daniel Craig Everything is going to be in a wheelchair year. by the time this fucking movie comes out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one. Uh, they're making a Willow series on Disney Plus. Oh, God, oh. Yeah. I could dig it. Okay. Is going to have a reason that actually turn fat, on Fat Disney Val Kilmer in it? I think they're going to have. See, this is. I, I was positing this the other day. Fat Marty. They can keep. Uh, Warwick Davis because he looks exactly the same, but you can because he's like a I don't know what they called them over there. Let's just say a wizard. He might age slower than a uh, human, so you can get an you can recast Mad Mardigan as like an older actor, like a a Stephen Lang or something like that. Uh, who, well, who, as long who, as who, Val's who, got his voice yeah. back by now, uh, I mean, would you want to see him as old Mad Mardigan? I wouldn't want to see him as why not? It'd be kind of funny. Uh, he's very yeah. ill. He's I don't I don't want to I don't want to be sad watching Willow. Like, like like ill, like just not good. Like does he have cancer or something? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it throat cancer that made him lose his voice? Yeah, oh. yeah throat cancer. Yeah, really. Damn. Yeah. When did that happen? Oh, a while back now. He, he uh, hasn't been before able to the talk snowman for a while. came out. Whenever that movie came, out. damn, they can. They kind of. Well, isn't well, he? Isn't he in? The, he's in the new Top Gun movie, right? Uh, yes, but we don't know how long he could. Be, I think he dies in the early on. There's a funeral in the trailer, oh. and I think it might be his. It might be a whole ace. Ah, uh, there's a trailer for Top Gun. Yeah, it came out months ago, bro. Before COVID. <laughs> hey, they're making a sequel to Top Gun. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> What? <laughs> When's that coming out? Never. It's coming out. Never. Coming out. Remember when we saw uh, that they were going to come out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, well, you know what? That's why our podcast is better than everybody else. <laughs> we don't talk about that shit all the fucking day. Uh, next one, fast. Uh, the Fast franchise mercifully <laughs> ends the after Gun two movie. films. Two more films, <laughs> and the Fast franchise will be finally over. Thank God. How oh, good? They're going to do the one. They're going to go under the sea. Uh, it's he. We, we talked about this like the other day. Matt. About, we talked about Matt going pitched under an the under sea. the sea one. They must have heard him and yes. said, "You know what? We got one more movie." <laughs> got yeah, so you know that's people our one like listener, underground huh? stuff. <laughs> Or under the water, you know. You know, people like they like semen. You know what they like? Let's family under water. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're family under water. Family blood in the water. Blood is thicker than water. There you go. That's, That's your tagline. Your tagline. Right blood is thicker than oh, water. Oh dude. God, Matthew. Are you, you guys, writing this movie as we speak right now? Are you doing it? <laughs> Crying. I'm trying to pitch it. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm busy playing a old Vin Diesel in a game, a rousing game of Dungeons and Dragons right now. A rousing game of Dungeons he's and Dragons. A, he's a he's a wood elf. Oh God! Um, <laughs> I'm a halfling. Well, you know, what are you going to searching do? for a sex wife? They're probably just going to do spinoffs then. After I guess Hobbs and Shaw, and I, I heard they were trying to do something with Charlie Stone. Yeah, who else do you want? Do you else, who else do you want to spin off from that? Series? I heard Charlie Stone was supposed to get Ludacris. But no, no, I want Ludacris. No. And t- shut and up! T- shut t- your mouth before the they Tyrese. do it. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> What's wrong with that? I hate I both of those characters. <laughs> Why? They're fun. They're funny. And caricatures would be more like the accurate to describe. Nah, come on, give them a break. There, this is sir. This is their series oh, now. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Might as well give back. them white gloves and some soft shoe. Uh, next one. This is their form of reparations. We take the fast and the furious. <laughs> we take it over. <laughs> <laughs> this is ours. Sure. Uh, next one. Marvel seems to be planning a. Uh, to punch DC in the <laughs> dick again by getting their Ooh, multiverse yeah. movie out before them. <laughs> can you dig it? Yeah, I can dig it. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm fine with that. They haven't tried it yet. You think so Kevin Feige them. saw the fandom thing with the Flashpoint and was like, you know what? Fuck them. Again. <laughs> We're going to yeah. do multiple no, spider man I think Feige has multiple different things going on at one time, right. and he's just like, "We'll activate it when we're ready." Yeah, he has like a button, and he, he just activates button, it. like he did for Civil War. He activated Civil War because that wasn't the yeah, plan to, before. To a degree, I mean, the I, I, it's just it's perfect because again, you know, we haven't really talked to like Marvel DC in a in a long time. Yes. But purposely. the thing about DC is like, they what? they're always what else? no, we don't. I purposely have not talked about Marvel for <laughs> no, ten episodes. I have talked. made sure of it. I, I guess there hasn't been much to talk about. Well, that's no, the things. I just know you, that Matthew hates talking about. But it. once like, again, take it out of the like, show what? every time. <laughs> once no, again, like, I want to know. <laughs> well, once again, like we we get to that point where we we can allow it because it's like, yeah, well, DC, get off your fucking ass, figure your shit out. How many chances do you need to, to do this? If you can't get it done, then yeah, I don't have a problem with them coming at them again. And in, in that angle, if, if they want, I mean, honest to God, it's not like, it's not like, uh, uh, the most creative idea ever. Anyone could no, pretty much no. do it. So right. go for it. Cause you know, DC should have been doing it already, yep. but they don't know what the they can't even get their second Superman movie. They can't right? even get the. I mean, just they're still remaking an old movie. They're making Justice League again. Yeah. They can, they're remaking. Yeah, they're old remaking shit. it. <laughs> I thought competition was supposed to like bring out the best in. Apparently, people. apparently not. <laughs> apparently wow, it's different. It's different. Yeah, you got WWE different. and like this is like TNA <laughs> or Impact Wrestling. Excuse me. Hey, TNA wrestling was in the beginning. Different. Now, not so much. Yeah, and everybody in there. <laughs> Uh, next yeah. one, uh, Resident Evil origin story with a uh, scary first game uh, aesthetic. Uh, can you dig it? That's coming out now. Scary first game aesthetic. Not going to be an action movie story. anymore with a Mila Jojoba. It's going to be like a scary haunted house. That's oh, what really? Like that's what movie? it should have always been from the beginning, yeah. in my opinion. The movie's going to be like the game. Uh, that's what they say. You know, that's what they say. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I'm going to save myself adapting the actual the video game. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Well, good. For, well, who's going to direct it? Who uh, I didn't see the name. Uh, going to have a old W to Paul. No, w. definitely Anderson not. He's, doing, he's making that monster hunter thing with his wife again, uh, oh, yeah. with the Remember, Tony Ja. Imagine to like just go around making movies with your wife. Yeah, he, I mean he's living the life. I mean, man. Tom, I mean Tommy Lee and Pam Anderson did it a long time ago. Well, it was a good movie. I mean, I've done it too. Darren Aronofsky it was, was doing C- it for a little it while. Was, it was a C picture with uh, with uh, 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 Jennifer Lawrence. They were he made Mother for her when they were dating. So yeah, that's yeah, but have they ever fucked? Oh, they were dating camera? for a while. No, no, but like the real deal. <laughs> what do you mean the real deal? <laughs> the, the, raw, the raw deal. <laughs> Wait, Arnold Schwarzenegger was there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hello, I came to fuck you. It's like, uh, 
But no, he's been making movies with Mila Jovovich for what? 12, 15 years since, now? Since fucking <laughs> Resident Evil. Since the fucking first Resident Jesus. Evil movie. Think about it. been making movies before that. Was he involved in anything in her career before that? Uh, he wasn't Fifth Element. That's Luke Besson. I don't know, but Justin mentioned that he made a movie with his lady before. Oh, well, you know, that's that's personal. And... What was what was that about? <laughs> it was about the history of Costco. And oh, Kirkland. God Ooh, damn it, this Costco guy. All right, next one. Uh... <laughs> Costco and the Kirkland kid. Speaking of, speaking of which, I know what you did last summer series by James Wan at Amazon. Can you take it? I mean, oh man! I, I know what you did. What, last what did I do? Series. What did I do? Tell, what did I, yeah, tell yeah, me tell what, what I did. What, what did we? What did we all do last summer? I, I, I don't I even do? know. On the summer, I you know try to avoid what dying, do you but uh, I think we all just kind of hung out at the house and relaxed and chilled out. We watch Endgame. It's like the we entire watch, country yeah. watching it. What is it going to be on? What, oh, what really Amazon is going to have an I know Amazon Prime series. Amazon? series with James Wan. Oh, you got mm. to be able to afford right. that ninety dollars a year. I mean, James Wan's a good horror producer. He did, you know, all the uh, conjuring. Did the and first Saw, saw and, and then he did. Uh, well, I and then know. Aquaman. I say the conjuring is any good, <laughs> but okay. Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> you remember he did Aquaman. He did Aquaman. People He's doing Aquaman too. We were like, wow. Is Aquaman two already done? No. <laughs> I think that oh. they were at Fandom. They had nothing to reveal other than uh, them just talking about. The they were like, "Hey, one. they got to shoot it again, so that way it doesn't." <laughs> yeah. DC, DC is right. always going to be behind because they keep making their movies twice. <laughs> yeah, they got to redo a new cut. Yeah, we're done with the first oh. draft. Okay, let's make another one. <laughs> make it again. Let's see. Do they like it? Do they like I it? Should no, we put the new again, one out? Do it again. Should, do it we, again. Uh, should we redo? I it? want the one HBO Max. Cut. The, HBO the Max. One, the one cut. Because you know, you know that you know. I forgot to tell you this. You know that there is a campaign. It's a it's a fledgling campaign for the the oh. air cut. By the way, you you are aware of this, right? The what? Cut? The air? The air cut? cut. The air cut is what we already first. saw. Uh, we already uh, saw that. <laughs> apparently, that That's wasn't the problem. That wasn't it. Apparently. Yeah. No. That well, that was it. Trust <laughs> me. Yeah. That was it. That's what. Maybe the, the decisions were there. That's what we saw we work. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> Why does why everybody want a mulligan on their movies? Like, if you make the movie the you first You failed, time, bro. You, you failed. Move on with your life. Movie. Go on. You know, you know, you don't have, like, you know, Spielberg redoing his movies or anything. Well, like he that, made Duel know? into Jaws. That's like, does that count? No, it's a truck and a, and a, and a shark. Yeah, but it's kind of the same thing. Hunting a red car. <laughs> you know, red, uh, no. Uh, snakes. Uh, I agree with you sometimes, CJ. But this, <laughs> this one is a bridge too far. Down. All right. Uh, this, yeah. I'm going to put his foot down on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alec Guinness here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Ridley Scott reteaming to make a Napoleon movie. Hey, I can dig for that. the artists out there. Can you dig it? But the Altists. Yeah, I like that. I kind of uh, yeah. Joaquin. See him being like a He's been psychotic Napoleon Bonaparte. Maybe this will be a good Ridley movie. Rid- Ridley's kind of like Star Trek movies, where like he's off on like one movie would be great, and one movie would be bad, and one movie would be great, and one movie would be bad. Star Trek movies. Remember Star Trek? Yeah, movies? I do remember Star Trek. Yeah. The, when did that? When did Star Trek Beyond come out? When did that come out? Fuck, that might be like eight ago. years ago. Five years ago. <laughs> God, yeah, that's a long out? fucking time. Sixteen, maybe. Fifteen. Christ. 16? Maybe, yeah, either fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, I think he did. I think, I think it's four years ago. Jesus Christ. So really, should we Google that? <laughs> if only we had the power of Google. If only we had the power at our fingertips in order Star- to obtain knowledge. Star- but no, if really Star- directing so Joaquin, great. I think Joaquin's best performance, in my opinion. <sighs> Was uh Commodus at 2016. Okay, Four there you go. Ago. Jesus, yeah, the, I was, it was it was pretty good. It was all right, but yeah, I, I think that was a bad year. 2016 was not a good year. No, well, the end of the year was not good. I was gonna say, yeah, 2017. It's hard it was, really. Everything was everything was heading in the no, no, no. I'm not kidding myself. And fucking course it was. I'm going bad. All the way. <laughs> I've lost my La- mind. Last one. Uh, Tatiana Maslany cast as She-Hulk, then denied she's cast as She-Hulk. Did she get cast as She-Hulk? <laughs> Can you think? Well, maybe it was one of her. One of it was one of her. Clones. One of the orphans got cast. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's. Maybe sad. they don't know if it's going to be a she yet. Maybe it's going to be oh, a non-baron. They hope. Uh, it's, her name is Hulk. Jennifer Walters. It's not. It's not like. Yeah, let's call let's call the movie Jennifer Jennifer Walters. Hulk's cousin. <laughs> Jennifer Walters. The cousin of Hulk. <laughs> it's Jennifer. <laughs> it's just Jenny. <laughs> but he's called like Lady Hulk then. No, it, it, whatever. Or it Hulk. <laughs> it Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk. It's gonna be the oh, Hulk. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the Hulk. Hulk. Oh, the show's he's called She Hulk. Hulk. It's the on the fucking Hulk. poster. Yeah. Ever. They already have the, the art for it already. Well, well, I don't believe you, DJ. Thing. Why are they going to take? You work for the opposition. I do. Yeah, you're on the you're I don't the opposition. Fucking money party. that says I work for the opposition, so I'm going to say no. 
<laughs> I don't you work for the opposite. You I think it's, it's dark money. It's, oh, you easy. That's racist. <laughs> really? For dark money's racist? Yes. Oh, I... You're a DC fanboy. You I'm, sure. I'm a super DC fanboy. I love You're missing. a Marvel fan. I love those you? Suicide Squad movies. Oh, oh man. You, 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 uh, you, let's you, let's you, take that. Is that we get a clean record of that one? I, I guess, <laughs> no, know, no, no, no. Don't like Lily. Don't like microphone. This has been Can You Dig It? A symbolical exhuming of the Roddy Corpse that is Hollywood news. All right. Uh, let's do a little TV round. <laughs> <clears throat> so guys justin mm. matthew i go to, i go to mm. i go to matthew first what have you been watching on television you always, you always go to me first i, I, don't, to I went to justin last first last week like I I, I'm, I'm, I'm going i'm going to uh defer my time to my opponent oh look at this look at this look at this wow look at this. yeah yeah well, um, yeah, sure. I'll oh no, go. you know what? No, Justin, no. <laughs> He's reneging on it. He's taking it back. He's taking his money back. I'm sorry. You can you can have it. No, it's it's, it's back to you. <laughs> well, I already watched um, Holt and Catch Fire. Um, I never got to see the last few episodes when it was uh, airing originally, and it's all mm-hmm. on uh, Netflix. And uh, I decided to just kind of start from the beginning. So here and there, every night, I was watching an episode, and uh, I can never get into that uh, yeah. show. I, I wanted to. I just, well, I, it's not your, not your world, man. Yeah, not, not, my, not my cup of uh, Joe. That's cool. It's like me and basketball. Not my thing. Not the <laughs> basketball guy. <laughs> you know, whether it be offended or not. I don't know. I feel bad or good. I don't know. <laughs> no, just I'm not into basketball. It's, ha- it's anti-racist. Basketball. I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, I'm not really thinking racist. Yeah, that could be our anti-racist. Don't be anti-racist. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, that's Lee Pace, right? He's the star of that. 2K20 looks great on, and I would like to play it, but I just don't have a uh, care for it. You know? <laughs> That my that career mode is too intense. Yeah, it's so long, yeah, so yeah. long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's who that's who it is. He's in that as Lee well. Payson, so. Who's it? McKen- McKenzie. Sc- um, Scoot McNary, I think. McKenzie it? Davis. Yes. Yeah, yeah McKenzie Davis. Uh, Scott, Scott McNary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's 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 a wonderful show that uh, is a particular fun time period um, of of the world of computing and. Uh, I just I enjoyed it when it first premiered. Uh, I think it premiered when Mad Men was on yeah, on air, and uh, I kind of got hooked that way. And that's kind of my world. So I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the characters, uh, and I was always curious because I never got to see something happen in my life during that time. But the last uh, the fourth season, I just completely missed out on it and uh so i just decided to start all over from beginning to end and it was a it was a great ride hmm. it was That's nice it's on netflix so if you wanted to watch it's on netflix amc uh shows on netflix and that's it's it was it's it's got some great episodes uh fantastic act i you know it's weird I, the only one that mackenzie davis is probably the only one that i really see her in things so. yeah i saw her in the martian yeah. i was like oh you're good and then i saw terminator dark fate and I was like, "Oh God, <laughs> why? <laughs> why?" Yeah, you see, you see Scoop McNary in quite a bit of. Oh yeah, Scoop McNary's fucking. Everywhere. Which is interesting because there's a there's a, a storyline with her and um, a guy, and and they um, want to watch uh, Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> and it's kind of funny they get the VHS and from Blockbuster and. It's kind of like, yeah. Is that when she good. decided to ruin it? Oh, I'm sorry. I just said I, that. I, get, oh, <laughs> I was ruined way before she got involved. <laughs> Don't blame well, you know, her it's, for it's the sins of her father. Yeah. Lee Pace is the same. We don't really get to see him in much of, of anything. You know, he's, Captain the only time Marvel you see was him, the last time I saw him in anything. Yeah. And he's in makeup, and you don't really don't know. Even tell, don't it? even know it's Lee Pace. <laughs> Apparently, he's like a really funny guy, though, and knows it. He's, he's a good actor. Yeah, yeah, I hear, you hear good things. You should do a TV show. Oh, wait, he did. Uh <laughs> that show reminds me of if you took uh like the steve jobs movie and uh the social network and kind of matched them up which ones which steve jobs movie the uh the the, uh, the good the one. aaron sorkin one or the yeah, yeah ashton the kutcher one. Oh, okay the story the Sorkin one <laughs> come on man so two come sorkin on, movies buddy. together just match come two on, sorkin buddy. movies together because that's a, yeah, pretty much <laughs> yeah it's got that kind of you know what i'm thinking movie. about Think about once once things calm down. Um, I was thinking Making of your own TV show. News radio. I was thinking about jumping into. Oh, news radio. Oh, news radio never, was good, man. Phil Hartman. Yeah. God damn it. Never. I that was that was kind of before my time in a way. Like as I was growing up, I was quite too young for that. But I think uh, more of a tyranny I, uh, was uh, because oh, yeah, she was she was about it. she was if I was kind of like one of the first times I've seen her, and then she went to ER. I think after that. 
and she was kind of like serious. I was like, oh, Maura Tierney's funny. She can do other stuff. But yeah, that was that was that must see TV. Dave Foley and uh, Joe Rogan and uh, Michael J. Fox in that. <sighs> oh, he was in Spin City. Spin City. Yeah, I, I get that confused sometimes. Yeah, Spin City News Radio. Spin City. Maybe I should watch Spin City. I haven't seen Spin City in for fucking ever. That's prime yeah, Michael that J. Might be some. That's prime That's Michael J. Watch, right maybe. there, man. That's my uh, box ladder and uh. I wonder where we can watch that on. See, like news radio, I have to I think buy probably the on DVD. Peacock. Was it at an NBC show? Uh, I news. I think like Spin it. City was ABC. News radio, news radio was, was NBC. Was. Yeah. Six seasons, Spin City. Really? Well, they changed it's Charlie. Charlie they changed Michael J. Fox to Charlie Sheen. Well, I mean, <laughs> during those <laughs> days, it was okay. <laughs> well, I hear because. Uh, Reason why I got into it is I was reading up on news radio and apparently it, it got canceled every year. Oh shit! They got they kept bringing it back. It was the OG bring it back and they, fans wanted. Yeah. And they kept well, they kept changing it in different time slots. So like every year it was a completely different time slot, different. Um, it it all depends who you were following, right? So if it was friends or whatever, you know, not to oh, say that was the you case. That I'm just saying you, you, you want Thursday something that was big time slot, yeah. So it got it got uh, canceled every season, and then um, yeah, when I, when when uh, Phil Hartman got killed, um, that apparently was like the peak, and everyone thought like, oh, we'll we'll definitely bring it back, and then that. They brought it back with uh, with John Lovitz, I think it was, and uh, mm. oh yeah, John it. Lovitz did. Go- Holy crap, I forgot because he was that. big. They were good friends. Yeah, damn it, I forgot about that. That's- <laughs> Maybe to go back and watch some news radio. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna order the DVD box that you can get it for like 25 bucks on like uh, eBay brand new. Mm. So giving it away. <laughs> yeah, practically. Practically gonna, giving gonna, it away. Gonna order that. <laughs> oh. So what are you watching, Matt? See, well, a few things. I got a handful of things. I mean, we've already kind of done our little diatribe and everything and dive into the boys and everything. And I think we're all we've all caught up on that completely now. Too, yep. So. Yep. Thanks. Uh got one more episode of Lovecraft Country in the in the uh, chamber to watch uh, this uh this week, I think. I'm a week behind. Mm. Uh, the series ended this past week, but uh that's a show that actually got better once it got past a bunch of just it was trending all over Twitter, the finale. Shit. People were going crazy. Yeah, over the we, we talked about that, where it's like a lot of people were upset about certain things. All, all sorts of different groups had a lot of different uh, group feelings about uh, Lovecraft Country. So, you know, but this is the world we're in. Uh, Fargo's been on for a few episodes, which has been... How do you feel um, about mm. Fargo? I'm I've only I've only on episode three, so I'm two behind. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I I I like it. It's it, it's it's one of these. I think the first season is still my favorite season. Yes, definitely. Followed by season two. I think I hate to say, but it's I think, decreasing. I feel like every yeah, it's it's decreasing. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's not. That doesn't mean it's bad. Right. It's just not as good as the other seasons right. have been and everything. So and is it, is somebody in it that I would like to know of is in it? Um, Timothy Oliphant. Timothy so Oliphant's in there, and he's great. Oh, I love uh, to Ben with Shaw. Um, yeah, Ben with Shaw. You have uh, Chris Rock's in it. Chris Rock is a star. Uh, uh, you have um, who's the fucking Jason Schwartz? Oh, uh, J- Jack Houston, Jason Schwartzman. Yeah, uh, Jack Houston took me a minute to recognize because I was like looking at him. Now, who is he in the show? I couldn't. He's the the, the one with the OCD, the, the the cop. Oh, is that him? Yeah. That does not fucking look like he looks Houston. nothing. Because I was look, I'm looking at him in the face. I'm like, yeah. I know you, motherfucker. Like, and I look, I was like, I think that's ja- it's like I think that's Jack Houston. I was like, yep, that's Jack Houston. Yeah, so, yeah. I was, yeah, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. But they all got weird names too. And so it was like Olaf Leiferson or some shit. Right, it's like right. all these fucking characters have the same fucking name, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, I think the best name is what Mister Doctor, Mr. Doctor, Doctor, Doctor Lawyer, or Doctor Doctor Lawyer. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Mister Mister Lawyer Doctor, something, something like that. Like because his mom wanted yeah. him to be one of the other or something like that. So they named him Doctor yeah. Lawyer or some shit. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He he had a he had a good uh, monologue. Did you get to the thing I was talking great. about with uh, Timothy Oliphant? <laughs> Um, in episode four, was it episode? Four? I can't remember no, what I episode. To, I haven't gotten to that. Okay, because I, I yeah. attest that yeah. Tim nobody does a uh, kind, threatening like uh, yeah. Tim Oliphant. He's the best at it, <laughs> where he's like yeah. very polite, but then he'll say something that sounds like he's going to kill you, but it's like very like polite, <laughs> like oh okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm, I'm getting like serious, like kind of like 
Raising Arizona vibes out of this season two in some ways. Which they make a reference good. to Raising Arizona, actually. It's a, it's a like I, I feel like the the, the two girls. He, the he's, she says like, he says you have a pantyhose on your head. And that's from, yeah, pretty. That was a huge. That was like I was like, are you fucking kidding? Yeah, that's straight from Raising Arizona. Like, Holy shit! So yeah, this is like the Raising Arizona of all the seasons, which isn't bad, but it's also kind of maybe a little too goofy for its. It's too goofy for its own good, considering I feel like the uh, the the plot lines are like should be more serious. I don't know. I don't know about. Weird. I, I do like the crazy fucking before. Italian. Justin would like the crazy fucking. Oh, Italian. dude, that guy is great. That guy's really good. He's, he's good. speaking of threat. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but he's like, like is he Italian or Sicilian? Because he's like really fucking. He's fucking nuts. He's crazy. <laughs> He's I'm Sicilian. Sicilian. He's, oh, he's got go. them fucking crazy. He's like hey, you want to know something about Sicilians? He's like the Hulk. No, he's not. He's meaner than that. He's like um. Don't you fucking abom- say abomination. Don't you fucking say you motherfucker <laughs> you. <laughs> but no, he's like a ticking fucking. Say. He's a ticking time bomb. That guy. You just don't know when he's gonna go off. But he just well, everything he does he's, he's is good. threatening as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 really good. He's, he's good. like the because uh, I I feel, I feel like they've had like a really mean bad guy since and not even billy bob and billy bob was uh, Marvel, again was he was bad. he was like um unpredictable evil yeah you didn't know what the fuck he was yeah. gonna do but he also kind of funny sometimes right too. well that's he was the fun he was the best character yeah he's just amazing. absolutely fucking great yeah. <laughs> because it was back and forth dark funny um yeah. hilarious light mm-hmm. um and you kind of rooted for him but then you didn't want to root for him right. but then you were rooting for him that's what makes yeah. a great fucking the, I, I think the characters in the first season all of them colin hanks uh the cop lady i forget her name they were all oh, so yeah. evenly good uh, martin mm-hmm. freeman they're all so good there i was like man i love all these characters because their vibe in this season there's a couple of characters that are really good, and so a couple of characters I, I could I don't give a crap about, like the serial killer lady yeah. nurse. I don't care about her. Yeah, the the, the, the nurse ratchet type. I don't give a shit. She can thing. disappear from the show. She's, she's somebody famous too. She's like a well known actress. Yeah, she's like I, I, I couldn't place her. I forgot her fucking name though. You know, but this, this season's it's fine. It's I don't know. I don't buy Chris Rock as a heavy. That's the thing I have. I think he's miscast. He's not, you know, he's not scary enough. Like right. the Italian motherfucker, scary. Yeah, I, there's, there's a, there's a speech in the latest episode that Chris Rock gives, and I'm like, listen, when mm-hmm. he's giving the speech, it's, it's him supposed to be like intimidating, but I can't get mm-hmm. past Chris Rock. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, if this was like anybody else, if this was like Chiwetel Ejiofor giving his speech, or like Lakeith Stanfield giving his speech, it would be, it would give the proper, like, oh shit. Because it's Chris Rock giving it, I'm waiting for the joke. The whole you're waiting for him to say like the the, the tall salad man's here. Right, right. It's it's there's nothing behind him. Like he yells at his wife in a scene, and I'm like laughing, and I I, I go, I'm not supposed to be laughing at this because it, they don't laugh it's, at domestic it's, disturbances. Right, right. Yeah, it, it it's <laughs> done to a to to make him seem like very like crazed, but it's Chris mm. Rock, so you're just like, oh. Uh, Oh wait, I'm not. It, it's it's him. It's it's not even his fault, really. Other than it's his fault. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Sorry, you're Chris Rock. Oh, you're Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Problem, <laughs> so. We're gonna have the same problem when Spiral comes out. The the Saw movie. We were gonna see him as a a, a gritty cop, and I'm like, you're Chris Rock. You're not a gritty well, he cop. He played a cop in Lethal Weapon Four. He was a cop. Yeah, but he wasn't gritty. He was hanging around Joe. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, what's his name? Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe Pesci. They fuck you in the draft. His name is Butters for Christ's sake. <laughs> Butters. Bottas, <laughs> that's it's me. Bottas. <clears throat> so, uh, but if you want something really funny, I guess I'm, uh, what we do in the shadows. I'm catching up on that. All so, right, I just right breaking now. news. Yes, breaking mm. news. I just ordered news radio. Oh, he got it. He got yes. it. He got it. I got it. It's all we're, mine. We are going to be the <laughs> only... prepare for the sequel of this talk <laughs> of news radio. I can't wait. Just put it. Put it in the old. Uh, what do you call Every it? Banks. The, uh, yeah, I will. I will. I will. Server, because maybe I'll watch it too, and we'll be the only podcast talking about news radio. Own podcast to do a news radio. We call Dave Foley immediately. <laughs> Somebody called Dave Foley. Say, "Hey, Dave, we're we're single handedly, <laughs> well, six handedly, so re- 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 bringing it back. We're rebranding some we're screws, resurrecting the news, news radio, radio, <laughs> news radio, <laughs> news podcast. radio podcast. <laughs> I mean, everybody has. Like, man, we uh, we've tried it. We tr- we've tried everything. We have not tried this yet. <laughs> Nobody has. Nobody has. 
whether they have whether that's good or not i don't know let's but we're do gonna it find out together <laughs> can't wait can't wait to take this journey down it's uh, gonna be great it's gonna be radio. gonna be amazing i guarantee it oh, oh easy there trump uh <laughs> anything else <laughs> man? that's you. all you've been watching yeah, this well, what we do in the shadows is uh, it's so good. Really, it's it's really funny. It's very good. Very I really, I really like the show a lot. Did you watch? Have you seen all Taika Waititi's movies? Um, I think the only one I haven't seen, maybe like a really early. I've seen like the I've seen Wilder Wilder people. people. Okay, I, 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 I haven't seen Jojo Rabbit. I just don't have the. I can understand. It's I like it, but I, I know it's not everybody's uh, jam. I think yeah. Wilder People is slept on. I think that's a great film. Wilder People's goofy and weird and yeah. fun, which I think it's got Sam. Neill. Sam Neill's excellent in that movie. <laughs> he's 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 really good. The the me uh, the, the kid that kind of annoyed people in Deadpool too is actually good yeah. in Wilder People. <laughs> yeah, so. it's, it's a it's a it's a good little almost like family film almost. Yeah, in some ways so that's good. But yeah, Jojo do Rabbit. I just I don't have the energy I can, to conjure up right now to sit through. That's another one where it, it's very, I don't say Fargo esque, but where you're like, ha ha ha, oh fuck, ha ha ha, yeah. oh fuck, like it's doing a lot of that most of the like, time. I don't need, I don't need another movie to tell me that, like, hey, uh, the Holocaust was pretty shitty for you people. Right. I need another right. movie to tell me that. It's like, hey, I get it. I yeah. would, I would recommend it merely on Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell and Taika Waititi's performance. I thought that Sam Rockwell, I think, for me, stole that movie. He's fucking so good in that movie. He's only he's not in it a lot, but like the the, his, the last scene he's in, it's like it was. It didn't get me to the money ball, but it was like right there. Where I was like, oh, oh damn, look at you, oh, oh, I'm holding it, like a no little tears. Bitch. It's really good, but yeah. Um, what have you been? What have you been watching? Oh, on, uh, on TV? shit, you guys wouldn't like. Time for a tough talking to by our own technological temptress. It's Julie's diary. Dear diary, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally going to make amends for the mistake I made four years ago. It's best for me, my family, and frankly, the country. On November 3rd, I'm changing my cable provider. In 2016, when me and a lot of other irresponsible people chose my current cable provider, we thought it'd be funny, or at least entertaining. What did we have to lose? But every waking moment since it was installed has been a never-ending nightmare. A flamethrower to everything I hold dear. An absolute embarrassment. I actually lie to people and say that I didn't choose this cable provider. My redneck uncle who believes science and witchcraft are synonymous picked it but not me. I say it was forced upon me. Some contractual obligation with my apartment complex. But I picked it. Me several hate groups, and a whole bunch of idiots. And I can't really even blame this cable provider. Not only did they say they were unfit for the job, they boasted about it. They literally said it on several video and audio tapes. But we all didn't take them seriously or ignored concerns. And for that short-sightedness, we've had to deal with incompetent service, dishonest business practices, no accountability for any mistakes. And, well, all the channels seem to be in Russian for some reason. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back after this. And what in the holy hell is the Golden Shower Network? No matter what bundle I choose, it's included. Want to know what's happening for the weekend? Then check out Subject Cinema's 3-Minute Weekend, spotlighting all the new films hitting your local theaters. Join host T.C. Kirkham as he gives you the 411 on all the new blockbuster releases as well as the indies that might be coming to your town and choices for video on demand as well. 3-Minute Weekend, every Friday morning from Subject Cinema and eCinemaOne.com, a member of the Lamb Podcasting Network, a PNR Network's podcast. All right, Julie, let's uh, take it from the top. Got it. Valentine! Hey, Walt. Hey, look, Julie, it's a uh, first time watch his own Walter Vinci. Don't give me that crap. Wait, but what's the matter? I ever heard your little skit you recorded earlier? We kind of prefer the term sketches, merely for artistic integrity purposes. Skit sounds too close to shit, so. Shut up! Seriously, Walt, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps you made a mistake or. Julie? Julie, play the skit I heard earlier. Julie, don't. 
Hi, everyone. This is Tim Costa. I'm Hermano De Silva. And this is Walter Vinci. And together we are the First Time Watchers Podcast. First Time Watchers Podcast. First Time Watchers Podcast. The First Time Watchers Podcast is lying to you. Tim, Walt, and Hermano say they only review films they've seen for the first time. But is that really true? What if I told you they've never watched a movie they've reviewed? What if I told you they make it up as they go along from trailers and plot synopsis on IMDb? Fake news. Or is it fake reviews? The only thing Tim Costa really watches is in session films Brendan Cassidy with binoculars outside his bedroom window. Is that the podcast you want to listen to? The First Time Watchers podcast. Lying to you. Lying to America. Paid for by the five patrons of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. Seriously, dude. What the fuck? I know, I know. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It's election season. I thought it'd be a funny idea if we ran a faux campaign attack ad where I made a bunch of shit up about you guys. Well, not, not everything. Wait, what? You know that, uh, that shit about Tim watching Cassidy? It's totally true. Oh. Oh. The only real way to prove your love and devotion is through devouring flesh and blood. At least that's what my priest said. It's Simplistic Fisticuffs. Simplistic Fisticuffs. This is the game where I name two characters from uh, entertainment industry, and we decide who would win in a battle to the death. Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's put them up. <laughs> put em, I'm ready. Put them up. Put them up. Put em up. Put I'm, em. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Put put em em I'm ready to battle. I'm put ready to, I'm em ready em to go, in, go into a, I'm, I'm at my podium. I'm ready to make my, my remarks. Your remarks. Okay. Uh, candidate, uh, Stewart candidate, Pulsey. Gizmo versus E.T. Ooh. It's a tough one, huh? Mm, I'm going to say Gizmo. Well, you didn't even say? hesitate, um, candidate no, Pulsey. I think well, Gizmo has the speed. And the size, I think he's quick, and I think E.T. is old as fuck, and I think he can't move as fuck because he can't he's move old as, as fuck. fuck. <laughs> yeah, and he's a, he's a drinker. Of, he drinks Coors that's Light, that's doesn't a, he? That's a lot of fucking. Coors, Coors Light, man. A lot of yeah, he's got that, be- he's got that beer belly. Oh, beer belly and he's, yeah. Fucking Gizmo, man, but you're running fucking But he has the resurrection gizmo. powers. Doesn't E.T. come back to life from the dead or something? Well, yeah, but no, fucking he's, no, he's, connect, he's connected. Hungry. To oh, he's got God. hunger in his eyes. He always hungry. He multiplies. You can't dude. feed him after midnight. Eat him. But it's midnight somewhere. That's how that never made it's sense. Always, to yeah. Me. <laughs> so that's what they asked. In, that's what they asked in, in Gremlins too. What about some? What about time zone? <laughs> The time, it's this logistic to the time zone he's in. He can't eat after midnight. You gotta yeah, love that, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we there's a loophole, right? Whatever. Like, when's when's midnight happening? Let's when's just it? Use after it in midnight? the next movie. <laughs> yeah. The same thing is like, when can I stop wearing my white pants? Like after Labor Day, but when's Labor Day end and when's it start? Oh my god. It <laughs> it's, it's like a, it's like Terminator paradox. Uh, so anyway, I, I think I think ET will will win oh wow we got a split decision here so it's uh he's like, oh. a, he's like, a, big, he's like a fat roly-poly he's got the finger really? he does the finger he heals things he can heal himself he can fly we don't, we don't know well we don't know the true extent of et's powers he's from a plant planet if that makes any uh difference to you or... <laughs> what just no, th- th- just to put it out there et can fly and can resurrect himself Gizmo mm. can. He can't resurrect himself. Though. Didn't he resurrect himself in the movie? He's he's, he, he's bound by the person he gives his life force. Oh, to, so if Gizmo Elliot. kills Elliot, then guess what? Yeah. Then he then he kill ET. Oh, wait a minute. But, I, but, can... I mean, do you think Gizmo's going to kill anybody? Well, I mean, he, he, he did just like Rambo. A lot of Rambo. Yeah, he went yeah, Rambo yeah, on him. True, so. It's true. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just the... <laughs> just bro. Just bro. They want what they want. <laughs> Nothing is ever. Nothing. <laughs> Let's have a political debate as Gizmo. I think, I think, I think I'm right. I think, I think, right. I think Gizmo wins this. If, you, if, if Gizmo he's knows how that e. quick, e. man. If, if Gizmo knows how ET sting works, like a butterfly, motherfucker. He's gonna fire an arrow into fucking Elliot's throat and yeah, sting and, like a baby. ET is yeah. done. Done. Oh, poor Tom Henry gives Tom Henry. <laughs> John Henry, John, John Henry, Jack Nicholson in the Doctor Sleep. Was that him? Yeah, well, he was Jack Nicholson in the Doctor Sleep. Yeah, 
Oh, I like that movie a lot, but <laughs> what they did with that shit was oh god. That movie, that movie slept on Doctor Sleep. That movie's really good, good but I don't like him as Nicholson. No, well, like, I mean, who, who else are you gonna cast? <laughs> Christian Slater. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Jack Nicholson's like ninety years old. You can't cast him anymore. You said fucking mocap, the fucking age, age decreaser. You you either see Moff Tarkin Nicholson and fucking the Doctor yes. Sleep. Oh, get out. Of here. Yes, get out of here. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay. Hey, listen, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko. Bill the Butcher versus Billy Butcher. Mm. You know it's funny. I've never seen straight all of Gangs of New York, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty, uh, pretty long deter to you guys or defer to you guys. I, I'm not sure how awesome Bill the Butcher is. I know Billy I'm Butcher. I'm gonna teach you to speak English with this fucking knife. <laughs> Oi! Oh, I think you don't know who you signed. <laughs> You fucking cunt. Go on, go on with Billy Butcher. That huh? cunt here. A bunch of cunts here. <laughs> I think you already know the fucking answer this question. <laughs> well, Billy, Bill the Butcher is a real person, too. So uh, we're going with a fictional character versus a real character. You're going with Billy Butcher? Where's it then? Well, okay, well, okay. What, uh, are they using weapons? Or are they just going hand to hand? Well, I don't think Billy Wait, Butcher is, should go in with a... simplistic fisticuffs. Yeah, I don't think so Billy, Butcher, fisticuffs. Billy, the, Billy Butcher should go in there with a 50 cal. I think it should be like I a hand to hand. Billy the Butcher. <laughs> I, I think it should be a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Maybe yeah. knives, and if it's knives, I gotta lean toward Bill the Butcher. Well, CIA trained versus oh yeah, you're right. he learned on the mean streets. Mm, the, yeah. Learned on the mean streets in New York. Right. Oh, yeah. He did kill Liam Neeson though. I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back around. He comes back to Liam. Liam's an easy thing. <laughs> it all comes back to Liam, Liam had that kosh. Did he? Wait, wait. Did he have a kosh and fucking? He had a kosh. He had a kosh, yeah, he didn't a, he? No, oh, no, he no. Uh, Brandon Gleason had a kosh. Oh, Brandon Gleason had a kosh. God damn it! With the with the notches, he had the notches. <laughs> Isn't that kosh. a lely? Isn't that what that is? Is that the same thing? Uh, what's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> a kosh just sounds way. A it's kosh sounds, sounds so. Like a a shillelagh sounds like a song. A kosh sounds like a fuck yeah, you. You, up. Sing, yeah. you sing them to sleep while you beat them with the fucking. <laughs> Have a, fucking sing me a song, shillelagh. <laughs> sing me the shillelagh song. So who you got, Polizzi? Who you got? I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Butcher, man. All right, all right, yeah, all right. CIA yeah, train got me right. I'm with that you. Fucking, CIA, that fucking mean cunt. CIA right. oh. train is what I think is winning. The train, so yeah. awesome. Dark Man versus the Toxic Avenger. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I go Toxic Avenger. Yeah, oh. he's like superpower. He's a superhero. What is Dark Man's powers again? Other than like, um, that, he's dark. He's, he's science. He's, he's science? He's, science. he's Dr. Fauci? What's that? He's, he's Dr. He's science. science. Did he, did he, Doesn't he have like some kind of adrenaline powers or something? Uh, I think only when Francis McDormand is like in trouble. He's like, ah! <laughs> Take the fucking nail out of it! And he, get a, and he gets his fucking nail in his hand. With the nail yeah, because he gets the nail in his hand, but he doesn't even yell. It's like he doesn't feel pain or something. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like he was really good at carnival games, too. <laughs> he was very good at time. What is Toxic Remember, Avengers he powers? Wants, he has a mop. He's deformed. He's, he's like a superpower. He's like uh, toxic. He's uh, super strength. Yeah, super strength. Because doesn't Dark Man have strength too? He broke a guy's fingers with like barely any effort. But, oh no, you can break a guy's fingers with any. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, you, you put a little bit of effort in. You. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> it's a little bit. Uh, we'll I think break somebody's Dark fingers. Man could, Dark Man could probably out outsmart Toxic Avenger. Uh, oh no, Toxic see, Dark Man. Dark Toxie's Man can, travel through time and shit. Oh, he yeah. has. He's gone through space and battle time. Battle Nazis. Oh, that's true. He's battle Nazis. Battle the, you can the battle Yakuza. Nazis. You can battle anything. He's battled, he's battled a lot of evil superheroes. You can even battle Saturday. racists. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he's Dark Man, it. you're going down. Dark Man, you're too yeah. dark for him. Dark Man's gonna, yeah. He can't even get rid of Durant. He returned. Durant did return. How did he return from a helicopter explosion? How did he, how did he do that? Uh, well, that's a good question. Gotta... <laughs> the jury's still out on that one. The return of Durant. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Of well, we don't really even know. Simplistic, in... <laughs> simplistic investigations. <laughs> Ooh, simplistic I investigations. Like this, I like simplistic, this. Simplistic uh, unsolved mysteries type thing. Where we, we look at loopholes in movies. Yes. November 15th, 2005. On this episode of Simplistic Investigations. Helicopter exploded. He fucking dead. He's dead. <laughs> I like I like this idea. I think we take these <laughs> stories and turn them into real news stories. <laughs> How did a and man something... survive a helicopter explosion in broad like, daylight? We yeah, come like, up on our ways. I read an article written by Justin Pelosi in the Daily Darkman <laughs> the Daily uh, about Darkman. the about the, <laughs> about the helicopter. That crash sounds racist. That sounds like a racist famed. newspaper. 
<laughs> the Daily Dark. I don't, make, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I'm not the publisher. The Daily. <laughs> I'm just a subscriber. Four dark men were found <laughs> walking out of a 7-Eleven today. <laughs> Say what? Dark men and three sequels walked out. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. Where are you going, hon? Oh, I'm just gonna go get the dark man paper. <laughs> oh, the dark man. Getting right? the what, honey? <laughs> what are you doing? Dark man paper. I gotta get a dose of Daily Darkman. You have a nickel. Slot from the Goonies versus Hodor from Game of Thrones. Well, Hodor is like magical. Oh man, that's a tough. This is a tough one. Goonies, baby, all the way. Oh, Goonies, Goonies huh? Yeah. yeah, Goonies he's for got, life. He's got, he's got that strength. Hodor right? fought back uh, hey, zombies and shit. Hey. Did he? Yeah, he's holding the door, buddy. Holding. He was. He was destined to hold that door. Because he's so fat, all he could do was literally sit. I mean, Sloth has a vision problem. I mean, he has no, per, per, you know, peripherals. Yeah, but see, my problem with Game of Thrones is it sucks. he just was a useless character. He's held, he, wait, he wasn't that useless. He, he, say, he, he held the door he, for the king. Yeah, but, but if only, he... That's only because he was told to. If he had... Listen, listen, listen. I don't think you realize he had a choice. He didn't have to be that big. It was his choice. <laughs> what do you a mean you didn't have to be that big? You didn't have to be that big. He he, he ate all those Cheetos and, be, <laughs> and became the way he is. And too, too many baby fell. roots. Now all he is, his whole meaning in life, his whole point in life is literally a doorstop. Oh, oh man, how dare true. you? How? And it, it, it does, Sloth, he gets scared very often. Sloth too. was like, born oh. the way he was born. Well, he dropped a few times on baby, by yeah. Mama. He was, dropping well, his head. he was born. The Fratellis well, so dropped him on his head as a baby. She says it. That's there was cool. clearly other things that were wrong. Are you are you the lawyer it. for Mama Fratelli? That was going on here. Yeah. No, I'm not sticking up for her at all. But let me tell you something. He, Mama, overcame, Mama he overcame his disability. <laughs> he turned he it into a, a skill a pirate. Yes. and a power. He did become a pirate. He, did, he knows how to fight with a sword. Hodor didn't really fight with a sword. He was killing things with his bare hands. Ever, ever. And he had great choice in candy. Well, he did have a good choice. Baby roofs yeah. are fucking fantastic. I'm not a big fan. So you know who I'm going with. Goonies for life, motherfucker. Yeah, Goonies, Goonies for life. What do you think, uh, Stuart? You... Hodor is like a like a nine foot man who's can. I don't know. He's. I mean, they're both strong. Very strong. Both strong. Um, we just don't know the full power of the Hodor. Oh, I think Hodor can can win. I think I think Sloth Sloth be like ah, cradle, <laughs> fall, and then uh, Hodor will drop that atomic elbow on him and he's gonna sit on his face. <laughs> what? Oh, see, it's some weird <laughs> fight you're describing. <laughs> Picturing this is all in my head. Right <laughs> this is how we figure, figure this fight's gonna. So we're split. We're, it's a split decision. It's not a split decision. I, am I the the winning vote here? Maybe. You haven't really been helping. Uh, I did. I helped on the Gizmo ET thing. Uh, here we go. Um, you did? Who did you pick on that I one? told Gizmo would shoot Elliot in the throat with a fucking... Oh, yeah, with the, yeah. With the arrow. Uh, okay. Sloth or Hodor? Sloth, pirate, Hodor, giant. Giant. <sighs> Mystical giant. Door giant. Stop. Only thing that... who's? I think it's going to be a battle of intelligence. Who's dumber? Sloth oh, is pretty... Is that, is that who's going to win? Yeah, is, yeah. Because you got to craft one? the other. Sloth is pretty dumb. But he kind of gets oh, smart really? near the end when he realizes his mom dropped him on his head like a baby because he kept, you know. He remembers this, that song that she was singing. That fucking song. And Hodor can't do anything but say his own name, so he can't sing the song to woe him to sleep. Uh, I think I'm going to go Sloth. I got to go Sloth. It's going to be cl yeah. it's close. It's a close fight. It's close. It's a close. It's a, it's a, it's a 15 rounder. 15 round. <laughs> Their faces look exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it might up. improve it a little bit, maybe. And Hodor's a DJ, and Sloth was a football player. He is player. a DJ. He's so, got, he's yeah, got I'm gonna some go with the extracurriculars. <laughs> Kevin McAllister versus Short Round. Whoever wins, we both lose. <laughs> Just like an alien. Kevin McAllister all the way. Over yeah, Short Round, who was yeah, trained by short, Indiana short, short Jones. He wasn't. He was no. I guess he was trained. He was trained by Indiana Jones. Was he trained? Was he trained? Yeah. yeah come on. Well, let me tell you. There's a scene where Indiana and Short Round are fighting at the same time and they're throwing the same exact punches. Oh, uh, good for you. <laughs> come on. Short Round was taking out adults you. with kicks and Kevin shit. Kevin McAllister was so was creating McAllister. booby traps that Rambo would fucking appreciate. But he was taking out idiots. They were dummies. Young. Come on. Are, you <laughs> Are you kidding? He tortured those guys. He did torture yeah, he them. Knew what he, he knew what he was. He could have took them out. 
If he wanted yes. to end things, he could have end things, but he chose not to. He chose yeah. to torture them because that is more evil. That's what he likes to do. The good son. <laughs> I don't even yeah, know how this is even a competition. God really? damn it, why did you even ask? Fuck really? You, you think it's a blow off for Kevin McAllister? Kevin McAllister, although he can do it anywhere, he can do it at home, or he can do it when he's lost in fucking New York. Yeah, oh, man. No matter where it is. You gotta can buy short round do it lost in New York? Oh, weird. Can short round? He survived, yeah, he survived Donald Trump. It is true. He, Donald Trump didn't touch Donald his Trump screen. gave him directions. You know, that's if he survived that, holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it was a tough one. So if he, if he could survive that, he's he, he's got my vote. I hate Kevin Not McAllister Trump, so much, but I guess short round. I guess short round ha would have to get close enough to hit him. But if he can't get close enough to hit yeah, him, he's short. He's too short. Too short, yeah. but he can't get in the house. He's wild. Wild. He couldn't even drive I'm a car sure properly. Short a box under his foot. Short round is a racist term, so let's not even keep saying. It. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, data. <laughs> We call them. Well, data is well, data is a word, you know. Data. <laughs> this is this is all these arguments are data driven. That's true. So. <laughs> I don't believe I'm voting for Kevin McCallister. I fucking hate Kevin McCallister, but fine. Kevin McCallister wins. I mean, you know, it's a it's a free country. And to the dark side. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jack Skellington versus the Grinch. Oh, Jack. Jack Skeleton. Huh? Dude, the like Grinch that. is like so annoying. But he had powers. He stole all his gifts. Different he didn't have powers. He just he picked them up and ran. <laughs> yeah, he took, he just, all he did was take all the gifts and throw them in a bag and take them home. He's a modern. What is Jack Skeleton's powers other than he's dead? Uh, he's dead. Well, I mean, if you're dead, you're, you, you can. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> pretty powerful. He's very spindly, he's too. Conquered death. <laughs> he's conquered Meanwhile, death. the Grinch is still trying to figure out life. <laughs> Yeah, his heart sure. grew four sizes. Come on. Uh huh. He smells like a sauerkraut sandwich. Is, I'm disappointed in, in the fact that you asked me that question. <laughs> Come on, the Grinch is cool. What are you I'm talking about? Offended. Grinch? Are we talking Jim Carrey Grinch? Or I'm talking... talking about the cartoon Grinch. Come on. The cartoon. Oh, that changes things. Yeah, man. Mad banana with a greasy black. But if you're doing Jack, who is a in a movie, right. you gotta do the movie version. That's the only. It's true. And you you got to compare those. Two. I can do the Please animated the movie rules. version of the Grinch, which is the same thing, kinda. With Benedict Cumberbatch was the Grinch. You forgot Benedict, that movie yeah. existed, didn't you? Was that good or bad? I didn't see. It. <laughs> so yeah. I only know the animated. Meanwhile, whatever happened to whatever happened to him? Benedict Cumberbatch? Who? Benedict Cumberbatch? Yeah. He's Doctor Strange in the multiverse fucking Spider-Man movie. Uh, the the multiverse of so madness. Well. That's the only thing he's got going on in his life. These no, days. he's on. He's like in eighty-five plays and shit. Are you, are you kidding nah, me? Nah, there's no plays. Nobody's COVID, plays right man. Now. You're yeah, kidding, you're kidding yourself. You think better than what is he doing? Work. You're out of your mind. What is that guy thinking? Never heard of him. Before. He was in nineteen seventeen. He's the fucking last character of the movie. What, what was talking? What was his name? Benedict Cumberbatch. Never heard of him. Oh, you fucking Benedict ass. Cumberbatch. <laughs> so you going with Skellington, this guy? Jack Skellington. Yeah, he's got a. Well, he's got a flying dog. DJ doesn't get my toast to London. No, no, I, 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 <laughs> never had him. I was just I was just talking about toast of London <laughs> the other day. Purchase. Uh, to a Are British you? person, I mentioned it. You're like, oh, you've heard, to you've seen Toast of London. I was like, I've seen every fucking episode live, of Toast of London. It's my religion. <laughs> I live it, motherfucker. I'm opening a, up a church. <laughs> Shit, if I can fucking <laughs> the, the the church of toast. Pray to toast. I would do it. <laughs> yeah, I pray to toast every morning. Pray to toast every morning. <laughs> it's like, take this. Take this day and fuck it sky high. Fuck, it, fuck you, sky high. Fuck that sky high. <laughs> yeah. Bloody Ray Patches. All right. Uh, so I, pr I pray to Clem Fandango. Clem Fandango. Oh, fuck. I forgot that name, Clem Fandango. Uh, Clem Fandango. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Clem Fandango. James Bond Battle Royale. Oh, shit. How many in this? Like, <sighs> so you got Sean, you got Roger, oh. you got Timmy, you got B Lass and B. You got, this is easy for me. You got go uh, first, you Craig, go you got Pierce Brosnan. Pierce I'll tell you right away. You want to know? Then. You want me to tell you? You want me to wait? Pierce Brosnan. It, it, it just feels like you've thought about this before, uh, Polizzi. Well, of course I've thought about this. <laughs> he goes to bed thinking. He goes to he bed thinking. Do about he, go, he, he prays for this. You already buddy. know my answer. Uh, I think I do. I, you're going with Liza B, aren't you? No. Really? You're going with adults? Adults. Oh, you're going yeah. with adults. adults. I'm going darker, man. He did have a license to kill revoked because he was fucking murdering too many people. That is That's true. That's right. He got it back. <laughs> that was true. So good luck with yeah, the last. He had unsanctioned murders on his resume. 
Obviously, Roger's dead right away because he's not a killer. Yeah, he's, he's not, a he's not as much of a killer. Mm. I feel like uh, Lazenby would put up a good fight, but probably come I think next. Craig will put up a good fight with versus Dalts, even though he's Daniel, a kind of an awful. I think Daniel Daltz. Craig knows that he, he's got the. Uh, he fought, he's just, Craig he's can like take the, a beating. Craig can take a beating. Yeah, he's a doppel Dalts. He, he's essentially Dalts 2.0. I think Sean would go next, and then Pierce would be like. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> See, see, Sean gets caught a lot. Like, he gets <laughs> caught all the time. Dalton didn't really get caught that many times. He would just Very murder his way good. out. Very <laughs> good. Yeah. He would murder yeah. his well, way I mean, out. <laughs> I mean, Connery did have more movies in which to get caught, though. It's so true. what's his average? Pierce got caught what, a couple times. What's his average? You have to look at no. the average ca- Pierce uh, got well, well, film to, to he got caught Pierce Brosnan. In, he got, got caught, caught in every movie. times in uh, Dr. No. Then he get caught by, he got caught by, uh, what's his name? Dr. No. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, the the, the greatest one is uh, Goldfinger. So yeah, um, yeah he almost got his dick zapped off. Uh, diamonds are forever. Pussy Galore uh, had him at gunpoint. So yeah, that's uh, and Pierce Brosnan got caught a couple times oh, too. He got caught so much, yeah. Pierce um, he got Pierce, caught by Pierce Sophia Marceau, didn't he? In fucking World's Not Enough. Yeah, he was about to break his fucking neck in that weird chair that <laughs> that he was in. I need actually. I kind of like that little torture chair. Yeah. Um, a little different. But uh, yeah, after I think he ghost caught Pierce in Tomorrow Never Dies, remember? After he killed Terry yeah. Hatcher, he had a gunpoint too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had that guy, but then he got caught again by fucking Jonathan Hyde. Craig Jonathan got Pierce. caught by Mads. Mads. I don't think he got caught again. Did he get caught? Again? Oh, he got caught by Silva. Wait, he got, Silva he caught. He got him. killed by Silva, and he got caught by fucking uh, Christopher Waltz. He got caught by uh, Blofeld. In part, in oh the, yeah, I, I, I forgot about the director. I'm sorry. But well, we've been we've been spending a lot of money on uh, therapy. To yeah, I forgot about, about that. So. Well, technically, he didn't get ca- caught by Waltz. He arrived, He walked up there. Like he took a car there to get there. Like he like he he let himself but get he's caught. Still- Ended up, but yeah, but he still ended up in the chair with the needles. Right, right. But he, it wasn't like he was somewhere and they captured him and brought him there. He traveled there, which I could, I could almost. He was stupid enough to go there. Right, I could almost yeah. eliminate Silva too because he did the same thing there. He went to Silva. Silva, I can understand more so. Right, Silva was kind of like that was different because it, it wasn't. It was Silva basically just talking to him. Right, because he was badass. Silva was a fucking pimp. Yeah. That's why. He was just like, you're going to sit here and just listen to me. I don't need anything fucking, you don't need to be tied to a chair or that shit. Silva was trying to recruit him. Silva was like, look, mommy's been very bad. You, 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 she left you out here with no plan, motherfucker. You need to roll with me. Yeah, you should be my buddy. Look at my weird teeth. Look at my teeth, man. (laughs) My teeth is fucked up, man. Look at this fucking cyanide shit. Hey, man, my teeth's fucked up, man. Redneck redneck Silva. (laughs) Hi, man. Hey, man. My mouth is all fucked up, man. (laughs) You're shorted up. I remember, man. Man, all the little y'all, rats. I don't know y'all got dental in this damn thing. Man. All those y'all rats, man. That, my, my mother had an island, man. <laughs> I feel like... I silver. I want red razor razor neck silver the whole time. <laughs> red, red neck silver. Silver razor. Good. Hey, man. Can mommy come out and play, man? <laughs> Remake that movie. With, red neck uh, silver. I'm going back. I'm going to go back and do it. <laughs> so we're going with, we're going with uh, Timothy Dalton's because he's just... I am. He's just a murderous son of a bitch, huh? Yeah, he asks questions after he murders. That's him. true. He asks he's, dead body he's questions. He's got the extreme license. He to why don't you up. talk to me, uh, Davi? Oh. He fucked Davi up, didn't he? Didn't he blow him up in the fucking gas tank or something? Did he? Titty. Yeah. <laughs> Have you? Did he? Did it's he? a fucking awesome scene. Blew that fucker up. Did he kill Sean your boy? Mexico. Did he kill your boy who was a good guy in the previous movie in the fucking uh, war room? Well, he did. Yeah. <sighs> Jimbo, Jimbo, Jimbo. <laughs> it was in Goldeneye. <laughs> it was a good guy. I was like, wait a minute, didn't you die like last movie? That's a Bond thing. Bring bring villains back as good people. <laughs> yeah, they learned their lesson. Completely different character. Pierce, I, I just realized person. Pierce gets caught all the fucking time. He gets caught yeah, by he, every movie. He gets caught three Multiple times in times Goldeneye. Sometimes. He gets caught by Robbie Coltrane. Yeah. Every <laughs> movie he was captured. He was captured in every movie. Sometimes multiple I think, times. I think uh, your boy uh, Jonathan Price captures him. The fucking guy from mm-hmm. Ghost captures him in Tomorrow Never Dies. World is not enough. He's captured by Sophia Marceau. I'm trying to think of. Does he get caught by uh, Diamond Face? Did Diamond Face catch him? Well, no, in the beginning, no, he, gets, he, gets he gets captured oh, yeah, by the fucking North jail. Koreans. Yeah. Chris Rosen might get caught the most. And he's just getting <laughs> fucked up. He, he gets caught in every movie. Every I mean, movie we can honestly caught. say Pierce might be the he worst. He might be the first boss. to go. I think Pierce is the first to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he could take a beating, though. That's yeah, the thing. He, can. And he, he could take a good beating. He'd just be like the whole time. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, with his weird face. Like, 
Because he's like taking shit every, all the time. One last screw. <laughs> One last screw. And then Robbie Coltrane. Oh, that poor Robbie Coltrane. I love man. Robbie Coltrane. Yeah. I thought Christmas only came once. Oh, uh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I, I equate Robbie Coltrane to Mathis, where I love them so much they needed to stay in the movie. Yeah. Robbie Coltrane's great. Miss that character. Yeah. You could bring that character back too, which would be. He'll be a, but now he can officially be a real good guy next time. Well, you could be like the history. Like, like that if you go backwards, you could you could put that storyline, give him the limp, you know, type deal. You can you can tell that story. Wasn't he shot by a helicopter though? <laughs> he get shot by a helicopter. I'm not saying after. No, no, he died in World's Not Enough. Right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So, Sophia Marceau. Uh, Renaud. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying prior oh. to that relationship. Yeah. They had a relationship beforehand. Yeah, so I'd, be I'd be into that. Him and Mini Driver. Beat him the fuck up. Bring Mini Driver yeah, back. Well, it was like, cause he, he, fucked, he fucked his wife or something like that, right? Wasn't that what it was? Mm, no, he said that her singing was horrible and he got pissed off and shot at his groin. Oh, oh Mini, Mini Driver? <laughs> yeah, she couldn't sing. Stand by your man. Mini Driver sucks. She can't sing for shit. <laughs> Get this fake ass Canadian off the stage. He's thing. Canadian? Great. Yeah. Fucking I think, movie. I think Mini Driver is Canadian. I thought he was British. I don't know. <laughs> Mini Driver. Maybe she's Australian. Uh, maybe. Boy, Mini Driver. <laughs> the fight, maybe, the maybe fight British. She's crikey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm Mini Driver. I'm Mini Driver. I, think I think she's Filipino. Nope. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> nope. Well, you almost got me there. Nope. Almost. This has been Simplistic Fisticuffs. A fairer way to judge things than the Electoral College. Oh, Almost got gotcha. you. Close, close. All I know is she was born in the UK, so whatever that means. Um, yeah, it could be no, anywhere. It could be Jamaica for Christ's sake. Uh, Matthew. <laughs> hey, man. My name is Mimi Driver. Mimi Driver, man. Mimi Driver. She's a Yardie. She's part of the Yardie crew. Oh, this is Yardie. She's a Yardie. She's a Yardie. What's the thing you want from me, a Mini Driver? <laughs> Stand by your man, man. Uh, <laughs> Still, I got some mini driver back. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really gunning for her and Adam Driver to get together. Oh, that would be no, easy. No, drive me the drink. That'd be an easy wedding invitation right there. You drive <laughs> driver and driver. Crazy, man. <laughs> the driver wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we watching the movie, playing the video game. Driver. This is the worst sequel to Driver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matthew. Everybody, our information. I beam hitty drive. I use the information for the. Oh no! Music. Stop it! Stop it now! I thought. Oh, sorry, that was my. That was my Tate Diggs impression. <laughs> Fucking <Sorry>. Tate Diggs. <laughs> How simplistic her views got its groove back Stella, in, the, Stella. in November. <laughs> Stella, listen to the simplistic review podcast oh, on any fine place you can listen to podcasts jesus yeah, like, christ i lost it this is how clue it feels when i do a, a, a british a british accent <laughs> oh come on you no know, it's my, at least mine's funny <laughs> is, <Fuck> uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to our fucking show just go to our website we're not going to give you guys any more information than you really need to be on this really all you have to do is go to simplistic dot reviews yeah just go there you, and then you'll have everything you need we've told this fucking story for how many podcasts now about 140 honestly you already know podcasts if you don't know by now just if you're listening to this you i, I don't know how you know. got this fucking far into the podcast you probably already podcast. know you have hpv <laughs> yes and we did not give it to you well or did we did you want it did you want it? Because if you, you wanted it, they, we'll you, well, you give know what it they to do you. want, Justin. You know what they do want. They probably want. No, a, I'm done with coupon. The coupons. They want a coupon. No, no. They, they they didn't want the coupons. That's fine. We're not. They want. A, coupon. They want a coupon. I think that's the way. Yeah, nah. uh, we win the audience. I don't feel like they deserve the coupons. You don't think so? You don't think no. uh, our, our adoring public? I don't know. I mean, they could uh, add the name. Uh, I don't know, Matt, in the coupon code and what? see what happens. They might Matt? get twenty percent off. How do you spell that? Uh, I spelled that. Um, oh God, I don't know how you spell. How do you spell? Um, so There's some variations. M M A. Yeah. <laughs> T. Okay. T. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's correct. Is that correct? That's correct. I think all you do is type that in the coupon code, and you get twenty percent off. Like, like it's nobody's business. Oh wow! Ooh, what is it? It's your business, technically. Yeah. <laughs> that means you only have to pay for eighty percent of it. Well, here's the thing, Matt. Yeah. Um, if you watch our 12 hour movie commentary mm. thing in Majigi that we did, our 12 hour yeah. spectacular first annual, 
12 hours spooktacular yeah. uh if you watch that i mean you can watch it for a second if you want who cares but there might be uh, another code somewhere on that video and if i said just a second anywhere it might actually be on the screen the entire time so Ooh. you might want to check that because there might be i don't know 30 <laughs> percent no 30 percent good old 30 percent wow that means you only pay for 70 percent well, this is america i mean how dare you pay any extra <laughs> How dare I pay full price? How, how dare fuck. you? How, how dare how dare you pay, pay your fair share? <laughs> I mean, at this what point, we're a, just giving a shit away. Share anymore. We're just giving shit away at this point. That's. I mean, we, you know, we're we 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 are so desperate. Well, fuck you. We don't want your money. Just this. take the fucking merchandise. <laughs> just break through the break through the glass. Rob us. <laughs> yeah, break break through that glass. Uh, give us twenty dollars. No, fuck you. Take it. Just take it. We don't want your money. Your money's your money's no good here. Yeah, if you give us your money, we'll burn it in front of your parents. Your fucking dirty money. Yeah, you're dark you're, money. Di- you're a dirty person. <laughs> yeah, filthy. we don't want to deal with dirty people. Easy. Yeah, we don't Easy. like people who crumble up their money. You know, people like sometimes they crumble clean. up their money We're in a clean. ball. We're fucking clean. Yeah, you already talk our shower for That's the, the night. The bully oh, from uh, three o'clock high. He he puts his money in the ball. Mm-hmm. That's right. Three o'clock high. Three o'clock high. Great film. Oh, that's a good film. one. God damn, that's a really good one. Underrated. Very good. That's a high noon remake. Uh, so for <laughs> Mini Driver and me, Liam no, Neeson. Mini Driver. Mini Driver and Liam Neeson. I'm America saying the next time we speak, I might be dead. <laughs> Oh, we might all be. It's, we don't, might all don't, be. Don't, don't, hey, man, don't play the don't play the victim. We, we might survived all be a lot. I'm going to be a victim. You, you I'm guys, not playing a victim. We, no, we, we've survived a lot. Just another yeah. victim. We've gone through a lot, us people. I don't think. I think we're on life support. I think the plug. What do you mean, us people? <laughs> I think, I think we're, all, we're all hanging on the edge of oblivion at this point. <laughs> we're on the edge of seventeen. I'm looking over the edge. I'm with all the heroes. Nick would say. <laughs> I need some postcards from the edge. My uh, Meryl Streep in the situation. Or my uh, album you are. Another edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast is in the books. While we are either on the cusp of a return to decency or a victory in keeping America great, just remember, you don't actually have to live here. There are so many better, safer, more educated, cleaner countries than America out there now. Some even have governments that pay for college and health care. Imagine that. America is kinda like the Black Pearl, and these two candidates are like Jack Sparrow and Barbosa arguing over who gets to captain it. It's a cursed sinking ship, fellas. Who cares? This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Seriously, have you ever been to Norway? It's beautiful. Hurry up with the popcorn, Holly! The show's about to start! Interrupt this special episode of The Great Ghost with a breaking news story. What? Millionaire Playboy Bruce Wayne revealed at his birthday bash tonight that he is actually a Trump supporter. Wayne Enterprises' stock immediately dropped 100 points, and financial analysts say that the freefall may not stop there. Bruce Wayne voted for Trump? Why is the Batman focused on me? You should go after that guy. 